Ruiz, what are your recommendations for puzzle design? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I've always been a terrible puzzle, puzzle designer. Not really my thing. But if if you are, I guess you play a lot of puzzle design games. That's where you get your inspiration from. Uh, games like Trine or Portal give you a lot of ideas. Um, many other games are actually put a lot of puzzles. For example, Tomb Raider is a good example of puzzle design, but doesn't really look like a puzzle, but it is. And you just get ideas from those designs. And I'm not really an expert to talk about puzzle design theory, actually. But I would just advise you to play those games and think about these principles. I mean, all these principles I didn't learn in the book. I learned by actually thinking and just have some time with myself and think why we are doing this way. Why are we applying these things? For example, in the job when we're creating a game, it's like, yo, you need to apply verticality. And it's like, why? And then basically you come up with these principles that you can use it on your own work but you need to think about so then next time you play a game let's say you play trine or tomb raider think about what they did and if i remember correctly it's just basically the same principles objective is very clear you can see the objective where to go and you can guide the player from one objective to another by putting some obstacles between those and those obstacles can be different from one another, depending on the type of game you have. But I guess just puzzles which just make you think a little bit more. Yeah, I believe in regardless of, of what you want to learn, uh, in this case is puzzle design, it's uh, a good way to start is just to make it. And if you don't know where to start, it's better to copy something that works like you say like portal or maybe you want to to make a game a puzzle game i don't know uh, point and, and click stuff then it's easier to copy exactly the puzzle that uh, really uh, got you like the most interesting one and just copy and paste it then you can easily know how it meshes how it combines with, with your game and um, it probably won't work because you're copying a design from another game but it's really a good starting point just to start make you thinking why it works or what were the decisions behind it and yeah that's what i do with code i, I whenever i do not know some some part of a programming language, it's easier to copy a program and then modify it and break it and know why why it's working. So that that helps a lot. Um, totally. That applies for a lot of things. Like, it's like you're watching a painting. It's great if you analyze it, but as when you copy it exactly the same, then you learn like how they did it. Just copy. Don't don't invent some new things. By yeah. copying, you learn a lot. Yeah, and you can get away with with it most of the time, because you end up giving it your own take, and it starts, it stops being a copying. Uh, there also was how to design an open 